On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up Back to the Future, back in time board game sent to me by Funko Games. I'll play with anybody except George McFly. Guy gets real heated and then punches you in the face and steals your girlfriend. No thanks! Scott vs. Box! This is Back to the Future, back in time board game by the fine, fine, great people at Funko Games who are kind enough to send this to me. I don't need a time machine now. I have this. This is its own everything. This is nostalgia. This is movie games. This is fun. And look at that. Look at the front. You got the DeLorean there. It's going back. You know, it's good stuff. It's flying through the air. There's Hill Valley. Uh, And the license plate says out of town. It's a cooperative adventure game by Prospero Hall. I'm not as familiar with the the board game community, so I'm sure that's a big deal because they put it right there on the box. Uh, Ages 10 and up and two to four players. All right. So wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? It's not bad. The photo of the McFly family is slowly fading. It's 1955, and you're wrapped up in a time paradox with Biff, Lorraine, George and Doc Brown. No, sorry, Einstein. Cooperative to move around Hill Valley to get cooperate to move around Hill Valley to get the DeLorean ready. Avoid Biff and his gang. Help George and Lorraine fall in love and crank the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour, all just in time for the lightning to strike the clock tower, sending you back to the future. You know, in case you ever do another Back to the Future movie, <laughs> and they need someone to just, you know, just episode in the background. I think I'm your guy. Contents include one game board, one clock dice tower, one turn tracker, four character mats, one love meter. Oh my. Two tracker cubes, six McFly photo sections, three knockdown tokens, 18 trouble cards, 61 game cards, seven character movers, one DeLorean mover, three DeLorean part tiles, eight dice, 44 power tiles, and instructions. Wow. This is loaded to the gills with stuff. Look at the back here. Look at all this. I know I was reading off it, but there's this pictures to behold here. Yes. All looking cool. A lot of info back there. A lot of appealing stuff. It's just great packaging. Um, let's see. Watch the gameplay overview. Go.funco.com slash back to the future how to play. So it's all right there. It says it right there. Get it rid that down at the bottom. So that's great. I think that's super helpful nowadays when there are run throughs from the game companies going like, here's how you play it. Here, here's your go. Because uh, I'm visual. I'm a visual learner. I read some and I go, help I graduate high school. And uh, it takes about 50 minutes uh, per game. And then Original Fun Co. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Original Fun Co. Go give them a follow. Give them, say, say hey, say hey, how are you? And let them know Scott vs. Box on you. Which I'm also on those same things. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Scott vs. Box. And uh, yeah, do, do knock out two at once. And you'll see we'll all post fun content together. Cool stuff. Ooh, this includes the the DeLorean time machine and seven miniatures. <gasps> it looks like Einstein is on there, unless that's some other Biff relative that I'm unfamiliar with, maybe from the animated series. I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched a lot of it, but I didn't watch the whole thing. All right, let's pop it open. Oh, maybe there's even a Huey Lewis and or the news game piece. I'd be fine with that. So here's our game board. The flux capacitor. That's cool. You're seeing it way before I do. I'm not even looking at it yet. Or it could be a record. Shield eyes from light. Ah, I read the whole thing and then I did it. What? Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. This is the instructions. Tales from space. The com- Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Shocking science fiction rule book. Look at that. Look at there's Darth Vader on the front there. Doing mind rays. Oh, that's awesome. Space zombies from Pluto. That's so cool. Dang it. That is so cool. And then we've got a layout here of all the stuff we need to know. And it's animated. Looks super fun. A lot of stuff here. Definitely need to watch the video on how to play this. But man, oh man, is it cool setup. So tells you everything in here laying out. And uh, 
character powers, all this stuff, end of the game. But let me show you just a uh, couple of the pages here, because this is cool looking. Look at that. Look at the layout of all this. Isn't that nice? A lot of detail went into this. A lot of making sure it looks appealing, and it's, it's, it's visually uh, really great to look at, and then also uh, to help you understand, like doing different layouts, explaining everything, so it lays it out for the players to all follow along and figure out how to play the game. So this is a lot of stuff. So the for I would think for the the board game aficionados, this is pretty dang cool and probably very appealing to them. Oh, there's the family photo. Hmm, that could be could be trouble in the long haul. Wow, look at all this. Look at all the stuff inside here. It's a lot of cheese. Wow. Okay. Well, first, let's do the game board. Let's do the game board and bust it out. So that way we got a place to lay it all out. That way we can lay it all out here. Oh, this is exciting. This is so cool. All right. Let's get the game board out. I mean, now's as good a time as any. Get, get cracking on your board games. You know, you can get it delivered to you right at your home, and you can go, I'm just stay in, play with the fam, play some fun board games. You know, it's a good time. It's a good time. So let's do it. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this is cool. So we've got, I'm going to try and shoot off as best I can here. So let's see. Uh, the DeLorean start point is up here. And then from there, we've got the school parking lot, Hill Valley High. We've got the clock tower, North Shops, South Shops, Town Square. Uh, Doc Brown's house is down here. George's house. Lou's Cafe. Lorraine's house. And that's all there. Look at that. So I'll show it off to you here. Look at this. Miss. Look at all that. Pretty cool looking game board. I think it's great. I like it. Okay. That's cool. All right. So there's a game board. Now, here's a bunch of stuff to look at. Amazing. And it doesn't end. Oh, it ended. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the back here so we can identify with what is what. And I'll keep the instructions handy as well because it also tells me what all these things are. Okay. All right. I'm excited that it has trouble cards. All right. Well, let's see. Let's look at the figures first. Let's look at the... Uh, how do they refer to it? The player movers and the non-player movers who we got here let's see how how well we can tell them just by looking at them let's see well okay that one's marty that's orange biff is red i do but do but do believe that's george then is pink and then that's the joker maybe that's doc brown uh that's lorraine the other pink einstein what that's so great and then Jennifer. Okay, yeah. So here's Doc Brown and Jennifer. There you go. And then we got Einstein and Marty. And then we've got Lorraine and George. Ah, believe me, it looks like him. And then Biff. Ooh, big old bad Biff. Uh, is it going to focus? Not going to focus. All right. I tried. Some of them focused. And then, of course, you got the DeLorean. That's amazing. So here's our DeLorean. That's cool. Awesome. Good detail on it. Looks like the DeLorean. It is a DeLorean. Then we've got our dice. Okay. 
And you put and this what's I, what I always love. Everything's got a little bag. Everything's got a little bag. You can put away in the little bags. It doesn't just all get clumped in there and then beat up. Funko Games does right by that. So we've got different colored dice, different symbols on them. I'm assuming Biff because it looks mad, and there's lightning bolts, and maybe some sort of scientific symbol and arrows. All different kinds of stuff here. So there's the dice, you know, showing off some of the symbols and stuff on there. There's like the Biff head, and there's other things. Like there's a heart. So they all clearly do something, you know. What they do exactly, I don't know. You'd have to read up on the game to find out. And they all have different things. Like there's some arrows and stuff. All kinds of stuff. That's cool. So there's a dice. And then oh, trouble cards. Trouble cards. No. Oh, they got the guy with the 3D glasses. And Billy Zane. Ooh. So that's cool. Let's look at some of these trouble cards. <laughs> They're just laughing at you. So troubles of different levels. Uh, one, two, and three. Uh, color indicated. So there's level one. Level two. Level three in the red. That's when you know it's bad. It's when you know they're really shorting it up. Oh, and then on the back. <laughs> Strickland. Looking for slackers. So that was the outside. That's the, the um, like, it's a trouble card, but then you see what the trouble is on the other side. The gang spikes punch fountain. <laughs> so then stuff, and then different stats that occur during it. What else? Gang prank calls Lorraine. Oh, 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 oh. So that's fun. Yeah, all different cool stuff here. Starlighter's guitarist injured. No! No! Cool stuff. DeLorean won't start. All kinds of cool stuff for the trouble cards. What are these little things here? These are the... Uh, not the starter power tiles. What are these things? I'll come back to you. I'll figure you out soon enough, she. Uh, these are some of the cards. Which cards are these? Looks like a lot of cards. Mm. These are... Ooh, provoke Biff. Get some school clothes. Manure truck! Knew there had to be manure references in here. Look at that. Manure. I hate manure. So this is the... Probably the 61 game cards is what I'm guessing. So these are labeled as opportunity. These are all opportunity. This is movement. So different indicators on the back. Uh, more movement. And then what else? Movement. Movement. Oh, this is exhausted item. So it looks like items you can use up. It's a video recorder. Cassette player. I'll show off some of these to you so you can see some of them Just at random. Boom stuff things again like really nicely uh artistically drawn little cards make it fun make it clear like that's biff so the stuff here looks like george and lorraine talking that's cool so there's that there's the movement cards what else we got holy moly there's a lot of stuff here oh there's these two these are the what are these Mm. Okay, so those were opportunity cards and movement cards. So I guess these would then be the game cards. Wow, okay, so there's a lot of these. Starter powers, roll, okay. Yeah, telling you like what to do, how to play. Well, that one's gone. Uh, <laughs> roll, move up to three spaces. So indicated with power and all that. Let you know how to do that. Again, a lot of these. Rerolls, just different stuff indi indicating what you do and how you put it into play. I don't know yet. Gotta play the game, read the instructions, watch the video. Gotta do all that stuff. So then, looks like we've got our character mats. Look at that here. These are great. Oh, wow. That's cool. Look at that. So, oh, I guess you could just flat out build this. And put it on here, right? I think that's the idea. How do you do it? Something like that. 
Oh, there's bends and moves around more here. Well, again, some sort of, if I were to watch the video, it would tell me, but you know, you're doing something and making it 3D. So I don't want to ruin anything because I don't know how to do it yet. That's somewhere in the instructions, I'm sure. That's cool. Oh, a turn tracker. Look at this. Look at this thing. That's cool. And it's double-sided. Turn tracker. And then here's our character mats. This is heavy. Look at that. Awesome. There's Marty. And then we've got Doc Brown. What does he say? Great Scott. <laughs> I can't argue with that. And then Jennifer Parker. Follow me before I turn into another person. They went OG Jennifer. Nice. <gasps> Einstein. Bark. Bark. Hmm. I don't think they're misquoting him on that one. So that's cool. There's that stuff. And then there's these. Is that everything? That's uh, that. I mean, that's a lot. There's a whole lot to go through in this game. Again, nicely detailed. All kinds of fun stuff to do. I'm sure it's hours of fun. A lot of different uh, possibilities of what could happen during gameplay. These are the knockdown tokens. It's Biff looking all loopy. He's got stars above his head. That's those. And then looks like some item some item cards, some DeLorean hooks, and uh, DeLorean part cables. So that's that stuff there. And then what we got here? Oh, this is the pieces of the family photo. There's the other brother. Yeah, there's Marty on the legs. So it's just all different parts of the photo. And then that's, you know, the indicators of if the photo's filling up. Where'd that go at this point? That's around here somewhere. It's like Blue's Clues. Everybody's going, it's over there, Scott. Huh? Where? Oh, here it is. So then, yeah. So you can look along with it and see if it lays out pretty well on here. See? I'm going to start putting them on here. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I mean, you can see it right there. Like, it all it all matches up on this board right here. This is cool. This is intense. There's a lot of stuff to go through. But I'm going to play this game. Hit me up on social media, at Scott vs. Box. Also, hit up Original Funko as well. Check out the game and other stuff. There's a link in the description below if you want to get the game for yourself. And, uh, yeah, by the time you have seen this, I'll play this game. And we'll talk about it on social media. But, wow, this is amazing. I got the DeLorean. I got Doc Brown. I got Einstein. I got all this, I can build, I can play, and I can relive and have new adventures in the world of Back to the Future via Back in Time, the board game. Yes! Get back in time to when you don't have this game and then fix that so that way your future's okay! Back to the Future! Back in Time! Whew! That was epic! Like all my unboxings! So to be sure to subscribe by clicking right up here, and then also you can watch more Scott vs. Box videos by clicking right over here. And join the notification squad by clicking on that bell, then you'll know when every unboxing comes. <sighs> Time to do aerobics!